First up is going to be infant and adult CPR. So walking us through all of this is Adam from the YMCA in Waterbury. Walk us through the first steps for uh, infant CPR. So you wanna make sure that you have proper hand placement, which is two fingers uh, directly on the breastbone uh, of the child or the infant, uh, the infant in this case. And you're gonna wanna give consistent compressions up and down uh, to the child at a, a rate of 100 to 120 beats per minute. And what does that equate to? So every X amount of breaths or X amount of compressions, you do X amount of breaths? So for every 30 compressions, you're gonna give two breaths. Okay, so, and then once he's done with the 30 compressions, what does he do next? So he's gonna put one hand on the forehead, uh, two fingers under the chin, and then tilt the head to a neutral position, give two breaths, watching the chest to it, till it just rises, uh, and then continue on to compressions. One of the main differences between adult CPR and infant CPR is what, Adam? Uh, definitely the depth of compressions. You wanna make sure that you're providing uh, deep enough compressions for an adult to make sure that we're pumping the heart uh, during compressions. Uh, same rate, same uh, ratio of compressions to breath, same 100 to 120 beats per minute. Up next, conscious choking. And there are two things you want to think about here, back blows and abdominal thrusts. Let's start with back blows. You do that first. What are we thinking about as we demonstrate on Rachel? So you're going to go right behind Rachel, kind of stand off to the side. You're going to put your arm across her chest, lean her forward, and right between her shoulder, you're going to use the palm of your hand, and you're going to give five back blows to her. That is trying to dislodge the object that is in your airway, and that's why we put you parallel, because now we're using gravity to our advantage. Up next, abdominal thrusts. What are we thinking about here? So Gigi is going to go from behind, she's going to place her hand right above her belly button and then she's going to press upwards and inwards five times to help push the um, air up and to dislodge anything that is in there. You're always going to make sure you position your leg in between in case she does collapse from lack of oxygen that she is receiving. Kids at the YMCA are also tackling water safety, as now is a great time to get your kids comfortable with the water. Absolutely, and for some of the best tips from these instructors, head to our website. We have an additional video on fox61.com. With a big thanks to the Waterbury Y for walking us through a morning packed with safety. I'm Keith McGilvery. I'm Rachel Piscatelli, Fox, Fox 61, 61 News. News.